All right, so you're wondering, how much does it cost to live in Salt Lake City, Utah? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be going all over the cost of living right here in Salt Lake City, Utah, so stay tuned. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mackenzie Mia. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Salt Lake City, Utah with Equity Real Estate. And we have so many people who are contacting us who are moving to Northern Utah and we absolutely love it. Honestly, if you're moving or relocating here, we can help make that transition so much easier on you. Reach out days, nights, weekends, whenever you want. All right, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the cost of living right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. The cost of living via houses, renting, buying groceries, health insurance, and we're gonna compare it to some of the neighboring cities that are either north of us or south of us. So make sure you click that subscribe button. I do a ton of videos about Salt Lake City, what it's like to live here, the best neighborhoods, lots of really cool stuff, and I'm gonna continue doing it. So you wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you're notified every single time I do a new video. Okay, so let's get started with the elephant in the room. Housing prices are what make it much more expensive to live in Salt Lake City compared to when you look at the average of the United States. So currently in the United States, the average household price is $329,000. Right here in Utah as a whole, in this last March of 2021, it's about $405,000. And in Salt Lake City, it's it's at about $435,000, which is about 30% higher than the national average. And that seems like a lot, but if you compare it to other major Western states, there's about four of them that are higher than Utah. Those states are California, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington. So living in Utah is less expensive than it is on average across the US as a whole. Utah has the 24th highest overall cost of living, putting us right in the middle. All right, so we talked about owning a house. Now, what about renting? If you were to rent a three bedroom house, you would spend about $1,100 to $1,200. That's right about where the national average is. And we are about $35 less than that. And we're ranked um, 19th mo most expensive state for renting. So depending on where you look, you can get a lot less than that, or you can get a lot higher than that. So if you're willing to look outside of the Salt Lake City metro area, you'll find it a lot cheaper to rent than that 11 to $1,200 um, range. All right, so now we talked about actually getting into a home, whether you're going to buy or rent. Let's talk about the average monthly cost for all of your utilities. Right now, if you average everything out, it's gonna be close to $300 a month in Utah. That includes electricity, natural gas, water, streaming services, internet, and trash. Compared to other states, we are actually the second least expensive in utilities. And on my personal house that is located just north of Salt Lake City, we spend about $89 a month on water, sewer, and garbage. And we have internet and cable and spend about $120 a month on that. That might be a little bit more expensive than some of the other plans that are, that are out there, but we absolutely hate slow internet. It just fits our lifestyle a little bit better to have faster running internet at our home. And our electricity bill in the peak of the summer months gets to about $120 and $20 in the winter. And for gas, it's about exact opposite of that in the winter and the summer months. That's because we're running more electricity in the summer months to run our AC and not using it as much in the winter. And in the summer, we aren't heating the house, making the gas bill very minimal, but using it more so in the winter to heat the house. So it evens itself out. Um, Utah's average utility bill takes a close second to New Mexico's, trailing by less than $20. Keep in mind that Utah experiences droughts from time to time, so water bills in this state may sometimes climb higher than that of the national average. Okay, so let's talk about Utah transportation costs. On average, the typical motorist in the state drives about 10,000 miles a year. Take into account average fuel economy and the average cost of gas, our fuel cost is about $3.31 a gallon here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and this is being filmed of May of 2021. But if you're watching this at a different time, that price may change. Just comment down below and I'll tell you what the price is. Um, it goes up about 30 uh, cents for premium, and the average motorist here in the state can expect to spend just over $1,000 on gas alone in one year. The average single adult in the state spends about $9,900 a year on transportation. 
If you don't want to be driving or commuting and you'd rather use the local bus or transit system that's called the Front Runner right here in Salt Lake City, you can get a monthly pass for about $170. And if you're a senior citizen or a student, it's about half of that going at $85 a month. All right, so let's talk about how much it costs to eat an average meal for a couple at a pretty good restaurant. You're looking at about 40 to 50 bucks. Per person meal, it averages out to be about 15 bucks a meal. Now, if you're gonna be out going out and grabbing some groceries, our food prices here in Utah for a single adult, they spend on average just over $3,000 on food annually. Now for a family of four, they're spending at about $8,800 on average annually. And for context on the nationwide average, that's about $600 less a year than the national average. Just as the cost of living varies from state to state, it also varies from place to place within states. In Utah, uh, Summit County, that's where Park City is located, which most everyone that knows anything about Utah has heard about Park City has the highest overall cost of living for a family of four at $98,000 per year. That's well above the statewide average at $80,000 per year. Meanwhile, Box Elder County, County is the least expensive place in Utah. The average annual cost of living for a family of four is at about $74,000 a year. That's $5,700 less than across the state as a whole. Brigham City is the most populous community in Box Elder County. Another one I want to talk about is childcare expenses. If Utah has any reputation at all, it's the fact that we have large families here. Uh, for families, childcare adds thousands of dollars to overall yearly expenses, and the average annual cost of childcare for a four year old child in Utah is at, is at about $6,600 a year. That's well below the national average of $8,900 a year. Okay, so let's talk about tax expenses. Few expenses vary as much from state to state as taxes. If I were to be accounting for state, federal income taxes, as well as social security contributions and Medicare payroll, the average adult working in Utah pays about $5,900 annually in taxes. That's well below the national average of $6,500 a year. The state and local tax burden in Utah is lower than the average across the U.S. as a whole. Per capita state collections in Utah come out to be about $2,500 per year compared to the $3,100 average across all of the states. So the last thing I wanna talk about is healthcare expenses. Let's say you work for an employer that does not offer health insurance or you're working as an entrepreneur or a real estate agent, out-of-pocket costs and insurance premiums for healthcare, assuming at, at at least a basic level of health insurance coverage are relatively low in Utah. Average healthcare cost for a single adult in this state is about $3,700 per year compared to the national average of $4,300 per year. For a family of four, average annual health healthcare costs total $11,400. That's $1,600 less than the comparable national average of $13,000. Living in Utah is less expensive than it is on average across the U.S. as a whole. According to data from the Bureau of Economic Analysis, goods and services in the state cost 3.4% less than they do on average nationwide. Compared with all other states, Utah has the 24th highest overall cost of living. In general, living in dense urban metro areas is more expensive than living in more rural areas. Utah is home to five metropolitan areas. The most expensive in the state is Salt Lake City metro area, where the cost of goods and services is 1.3% lower than the national average and 2.1% higher than the statewide average. There's a reason Utah has increased by so many people in 2020. We saw a record number of 25,000 people. Numbers kicked up from 4,900 to 21,000 people in 2015. We have really great weather, climate here, low monthly rent, low cost of living. Those are everything that I've talked about from uh, utilities, food, childcare. I mean, that's another reason why we're seeing such a high increase in the median cost of homes here is because of such high relocation. Like I said, I'm a local real estate agent here and if you have any questions or if you're thinking about moving to Salt Lake City, Utah or your job has you moving here, give me a call, reach out to me any way you'd like and I'd love to help answer any questions you have and help you find your ideal place to live. 
you know, if you know where you're going to be working or where you're going to be playing, I can help you find a house really close to that because there's so many different subsidies. If you like the downtown scene when in a really walkable area, I can help you find those cities. If you like a little bit b bigger of a yard or new construction, you know, that's on the west side. That's a completely different area. So let's figure out what you really want to accomplish here in Salt Lake City and where your job is and I'll help you find that dream house. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you've been to Salt Lake City, if you agree, if you disagree. I'll also answer any questions and I'll be monitoring the comments. So make sure that you comment and make sure that you click that subscribe button. I do a ton of videos about Salt Lake City, what it's like to live here, the best neighborhoods, um, a lot of cool different stuff and I'm gonna continue doing it. So you wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button and you wanna make sure that you hit that little bell so you're notified every single time I do a new video. All right, guys, until next time.